All right, now, summer plans out of the way. May we have our first contestant, please? This here Brighton, this here Cosmos, huh? All right, let's find out what your names are. First, we'll start with you, young man. Anthony Genovese. This is Anthony Genovese, and you are from where? Staten Island. Staten Island, all right. And you, sir? Gary Sinise. This is Gary Sinise, S-E-N-E-S-E, and you are from? Staten Island. Also from Staten Island. All right, gentlemen, if you will whisper your secret to me, we'll show it to the folks at home. I think we start with Gary first. Now we will see what this young man has on his mind. All right, to help classify their secret, the clue concerns something that they did. And Bill, let's start with you tonight, please. Well, I'm going to ask if there is a good, valid reason for their appearing in their baseball uniforms. We'd have to say yes. Sure. This thing then has to do with baseball, gentlemen. Yeah. Was it in a game? Uh, you are on uh, opposing sides. Uh, are one of, is one of you a pitcher? Uh, I'll go to the big one. That's Anthony, I think. Anthony, are you the pitcher? Yes. Gary, were you the batter? No. Were you... Uh, did you... Uh, it was the thing you did back to Anthony when you were pitching. Was the thing you did something good, something you're proud of, uh, Anthony? Yes. Did you strike out a number of people? A number of opposing players? But... His secret is not... Concern his, uh, his his pitching record in this game. Hitting? Does it have to do with the hitting you did in the game? Fielding. Twenty dollars down, sixty dollars to go. And we go to Best Myers. Well, let's get to Gary for a moment. Gary, are you a pitcher too? Yes. Oh, you are, and you oh. played at this particular game against each other. Uh huh. Are you related to each other? No. Oh no, I thought it might have something to do with that. And uh, was it some sort of record that you established for yourself that day? Something extra special you did? Yes. Uh -huh. Who won? Did the Cosmos team win? Did the Cosmos Brighton team win? Team... No, the Cosmos team did not win. Did the Brighton team win? Yes. They won. Uh huh. And uh, is it uh, perhaps we should know what the score was? Well, uh, you'd have to. Uh, all questions must be answerable by yes five. or no. Fifty-seven to five. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the numbers on the back of their suits. Um, Anthony, you won the game. Now, uh, did anybody get a hit on you at all? Yes. They did. <laughs> Everybody got hit. <laughs> $40 down, 40 to go. We go to Henry. Well, Anthony, it wasn't how often you were hit that is part of your secret, is it? It's not how many hits he gave? No, yeah. that's not part of the no. secret, no. Are you the captain of this team, by the way? No. Are you just here as the representative of it? Because we've gone through, is it something that you pitched or hit or fielded, and you said no. I must say that his good pitching uh, no doubt had a great deal to do with his particular secret. Uh, however, uh, his specific uh, secret is not, I pitched this, that, or the other thing, or contains no statistics. Yeah, he was just there. Um, Gary, when you were pitching, did you set any... What, dear? Maybe he hit him with a ball. You want to get up again? I just assume. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no... I'm sorry. I'm not getting anywhere. Uh, Gary... Well, with you, yes, but with him, nothing. <laughs> Uh, Gary? <laughs> now, where were we? I don't know, but... <laughs> I was going to say, given my choice, I'd go with you, Henry. Uh, yeah. Let's get to Betsy Palmer. I don't know too much about baseball. Or but... microphones, either. <laughs> <laughs> but is it possible that you could have done something, like in football, to give the other team points? What's the, what's well, you know, you run the wrong way. May I have something? a close-up of Anthony, please, after, after her asking that question? <laughs> That's how I feel, Anthony. Well, maybe you did. Maybe you pitched for the wrong team. <laughs> did you goof that way, Anthony? No? He's laughing at your goof on your question. <laughs> dollars down and nothing to go. Gary Sinise pitched a no-hit game against Anthony's team, but Anthony's team won the game. Yeah. 
Now, the obvious question now is how? Oh. Gary, how did this I walked, tragic incident happen? I walked one boy and he scored on a ground out, a pass ball, and an error. Ah, so your team, I know you're not throwing any blame, but the team lost the ball game for you. Huh? I did too. I uh, threw a wild pitch. Oh, one wild pitch, so you helped to lose, huh? All right. <laughs> now, uh, well, the score was, of course, one to nothing, right? Yes. One to nothing. Anthony, how did you feel about winning this game? I felt it was a good game, and I felt good about winning. Yeah, well, apparently you allowed no runs either, so uh, pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good game. Gary, I have a letter here from someone that you may have heard of. Let me read it to you. It Bobby says who? Pittsburgh Baseball <laughs> Club, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We wrote to him and told him about you, and he wrote back this letter for you. It says, Dear Gary, I heard about your pitching fate. Don't feel too bad about losing. It could happen to anyone. Better luck in your future games and best wishes always. And it is from Harvey Haddix of the <laughs> Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> There's one here to Gary Sinise. Better luck and best wishes, Harvey Haddix. Little surprise we had for you, gentlemen. Here is your money and for your dads, each a... You heard me say dads. For your dads, a carton of Winston each. And uh, we'll stick the money this way, okay? Thank you, gentlemen. Good luck.